Hi everyone, we are going to make a desktop application with a text box object using Python PyQt5. I shared the source code of the project on the GitHub account. You can also subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this. First, I transferred the necessary files to create a blank window. I created a class along with the widget. I create a window from the class I created. Now let's rearrange the window a bit. I will add some objects. I set the title of the window with the set window title function. I am creating a box layer to add all the objects. I will create an object with the label function. I set the font and size of the label object using the font function. I connect the label object to the window with the add widget function. I will create a text edit object. I can adjust the settings of the object by sending the few parameters to the function. I will mention about a few parameters. You can find out the other parameters by searching the internet. Plain text represents the initial text. Placeholder text represents the text that will be displayed after the text in the object is deleted. By synchronizing the read-only parameter with the false, the text in the object can be deleted and changed. Don't forget to explore other parameters. I add the text object I created to the window with the add widget function. I will create a button object. I am using the push button function. I add the button to the window using add widget function. Project completed. Let's run it to test it. It doesn't have a function yet when the button is clicked. I will define a task function for the button shortly. Let's test the read only parameter first. When I sync the parameter to true, I cannot make any changes to the text. In some cases, this can be useful. Again, I synchronize the parameter with the false. Now I can delete and replace the text. I am specifying a task function name with the click parameter. I will create a function with the specified name. I am editing the text of the label object with the set text function. I can also change the text of the text object. Let's run the project to test it. I am entering a text.
When I clicked the button, the text reading was displayed in the label object. I am entering a different text. Note that the function will be called every time a button is clicked. The text in the label object will be changed again. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can specify them in the comments. You can follow the YouTube channel for more projects like this.